Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of my favorite fall time lipsticks. As you can see here, I have a variety to talk about today, all in different finishes as well as different price ranges. So I think this one's going to be a little lengthy. Pray for my lips because I did swatch every single one of these in one day. <laughs> but before I get into these lipsticks, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It means so much to me and let's get to it. I'm going to start this video off with my most recent discovery, which are the Armani Lip Maestros. I have three beautiful fall time appropriate shades to talk about. The first one is 405, which is a beautiful kind of orangey based red. 209, which is a beautiful red based deep brown. And 208, which is a burnt pumpkin-y color, which I just love. These are so bold and I love the satin matte finish. They also have a really nice lightweight feel once they're on your lips. They also have an incredible wear time for a non-setting liquid lipstick. These are definitely not transfer proof. They just have that more silicone-y soft texture. And that's my favorite thing about these lipsticks is the texture. They're so soft and velvety feeling, which gives like this nice cushiony, nourishing feel to the lips which is such a nice change for something that's so heavily pigmented. Overall, these feel very luxurious through and through, and whenever I'm wearing them, I can't stop rubbing my lips together. It's just such a nice texture. I can't get enough of it. The next lipsticks I wanted to talk about are the MAC Powder Kiss Bullet Lipsticks. I have three shades to talk about as well. The first one over here is Teddy 2.0, which is a beautiful nude shade for my skin tone, but it has like this richness and depth to it that I think is really beautiful for this season. And the middle one here is Devoted to Chili, which has been one of my most worn shades this season this far. And it's kind of a pinky shade, but it has some warmth and depth running through it that I just find to be so beautiful and unique. And the last shade over here is Marrakesh Mirror, which is a nice pumpkin-y burnt orange shade once again, but it has quite a bit of brown running through it that I think makes it so much more unique compared to other shades I'm going to be talking about. But I love this lipstick formula so much because it gives the appearance of a blurred soft matte lip without drying or accentuating any of your lip texture. I like to apply these in a couple of ways. Most times I like to pat the color on for a cute flushed lip look or I'll swipe them full opacity across my lips for kind of a statement look or a lip focused look rather. For a product that has the word powder in it, these feel incredibly creamy and they glide across your lips so effortlessly. And they also wear really well and I can't stop sniffing these. They smell so good and they also taste really sweet, which is fun. I recently discovered that these double beautifully as blush as well. Um, the shade I've been using the most is blush is devoted to chili. It's so cute. I just love the look of a matching cheek to the lips. It's cute. I don't know if you're really supposed to put it on your cheeks. I haven't broke out yet, but it's just cute. Okay. <laughs> now it's time to talk about the liquid version of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. I would say that these are the amped up version from the Powder Kiss bullet lipsticks. I have four shades to talk about in this range. One of them is the same shade from the bullet form, this time it's just liquid form, obviously. It's this one down here, Marrakesh Mirror. But the other shades I have swatched are Pretty Pleats, which is the shade I'm wearing on my lips today. The middle one is Make Love to the Camera, which I would say is a nice kind of ready burgundy shade. And the red one up top here is Fashion Sweetie, which is this beautiful oxblood shade. That's how I would describe it. It has a nice depth to it. It's not like a true bright red. It's very fall appropriate. If I'm wanting full intensity and bold color, I kind of reach for these ones. They have this beautiful thicker whipped texture and this version feels even more velvety and cushiony. Although it has that thicker texture, they still are very lightweight and creamy feeling. And they also have this moisturizing factor that I love as well. Again, this is a formula that doesn't set down or dry all the way. It isn't transfer proof. They just appear very matte and velvety. I'm so happy that this kind of formula exists nowadays because I love the appearance of a matte lip but I don't like how they feel. I don't like how they accentuate my lip texture or how they wear and crumble throughout the day. These are just very comfortable to wear and you can easily touch them up. And another fun thing about this lipstick 
is the applicator. It has this fun rounded hourglass shape and it helps you to get a precise and even application with kind of a soft edge. It doesn't give you super harsh edges, but if you're someone who likes a crisp edge to your lips, I'd recommend applying these with a lip liner because it's kind of tricky to get that super crisp line without one. But overall, I love these. They're very dreamy to me. <laughs> this is going to be the last MAC formula I'm going to be talking about today, I promise. But this is the MAC Shot of Color Lip Oil in the shade Let's Go Streaking. I feel kind of perplexed about this formula because I don't understand how these hold so much pigment for how sheer and thin they feel once they're on. To me, the formula feels kind of like a gel oil hybrid, which I think helps to keep the product kind of suspended on your lips and it keeps it from spreading and kind of bleeding throughout your lips. I like how nourishing these ones feel and the wear time is pretty average for this type of formula, but I like how this one kind of fades away because it leaves kind of this tint behind, so it's very flattering. It doesn't fade in an unflattering way. When I was putting this video together, I looked up these on the website and it looks like they might be phasing these out, which is really sad because I was kind of hoping to see more shades in the future, but I think they're on sale currently, so check that out if these sound good to you. Next up, I'm going to be talking about the Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jellies. I also have three shades to talk about here today. These had to be in this video, you guys already know, but I do a lot of heavier smoky eye looks, so I needed something in this video to suit those heavier eye looks but still be within the fall tones, you know? So I have three shades. I have Spicy, which is this beautiful sheer red, Cashew, which is a nice yellow-toned lighter brown, and Almond, which is kind of like a mid-toned brown for a gloss. They all stand out to me. I wear these things a ton. I've recommended them for so long now, but I love this gloss formula. It's very unique to me. It's one of my all-time favorite ones because it gives such an intense glass-like sheen to your lips while feeling really lightweight and nourishing. I love those types of formulas because they kind of fill in the lines of your lips and just overall makes your lips look more plump. They have a very slippy feel. They almost feel like a lip oil, so there's no stickiness or tackiness whatsoever, but they don't slip and slide all over your face. They stay nicely suspended in the area that you apply them. But my favorite thing about them is that they feel very hydrating and nourishing, which is perfect for the fall time in Alberta because it's very, very dry here. And this is when my lips start to freak out and crack. So these are really nice and soothing to add on when my lips are suffering. <laughs> but these are beautiful, love them to bits. Now I'm going to be talking about a specific shade that M Cosmetics offers, and that is Faded Clementine. I swear this orange shade is something out of my dreams. It's just entirely gorgeous and I'm so happy that they offer it in three different textures. They have their lip cloud formula which is a beautiful soft matte. They have a gloss and their lip cushion texture as well. You can't go wrong with any of the textures I'd say but I wear the lip cloud version the most just because I really like that matte texture for this time. But I love all three formulas here to bits. It just depends on your preference. I just find it to be such a unique pumpkin orange. It leans a bit more yellow. I find that it's really hard to find a nice orange lipstick that isn't red based. But to me, this shade just embodies fall. And if I'm going to a pumpkin patch this year, I will for sure be donning this on my lips. <laughs> I have this beautiful lipstick from Smashbox. It's the shade Out Loud and it's another beautiful rusty orange shade. This is one of the most saturated lipsticks I own. If you want bold color, here it is. <laughs> I find this formula feels very high quality. It's ultra creamy, ultra pigmented. It glides over your lips effortlessly and it deposits such a gorgeous, blush feeling color. And because of how pigmented these ones are, they last really well, especially for a creamy bullet lipstick. Now I have a fun formula from YSL. These are the YSL Tatouage Couture lipsticks. These are described as a matte texture online, but I wouldn't say that they're matte in any sense really. They have like a lacquered finish. I have two shades here. The brighter red is the shade 208. It's a nice blue based red, but it's very, very vibrant. And the other one here is kind of a more burgundy shade. 
and that's the shade 206. I love this one's consistency. It has a thinner cream formula that just effortlessly glides across your lips and deposits intense color. But my favorite thing about these and what makes them stand out in my collection is the applicator because you do not need a lip liner when you're using them. Depending on how you hold it, you can kind of contour your lips perfectly and it creates such a crisp edge to your lips. This is another one of those formulas that don't set all the way down. They're kind of a comfortable lipstick to wear, but even though that they don't set down all the way, they still wear really, really well. Following up, I have a Wet n Wild lipstick to talk about. This is their Cloud Pout formula in the shade Love You S'more. It's this beautiful deep brown. And this color is really interesting because depending on what you pair it with, it kind of can pull warm or cool. I guess it's kind of like a neutral shade, but it looks warm when it's swatched against my hand. It's, it's very interesting. This formula heavily reminds me of the MAC Liquefied Powder Kiss lipsticks, but even lighter and fluffier and more velvety. I will say with this shade, you do have to build it up a little bit more than other shades that I own, but I think that's just due to the fact that it's a bit more deep and pigmented. But once it's on, it wears really well and it doesn't look streaky whatsoever. And they also smell incredibly good. Like I can smell it on my hand right now. It's not overbearing, it just smells really nice. It smells like vanilla and Rice Krispies. I now have a Glossier Ultra Lip to talk about. This is the shade Trench. It's this beautiful kind of caramel toffee shade. It's so beautiful. It's definitely on the more subtle side, but it still fits within the fall vibes. I'm usually very picky when it comes to tinted lip balms, but I completely adore this formula because it's richly pigmented, it's very nourishing, and I love how glossy the finish is. Like, look at that. It's very beautiful. These are kind of reminiscent of the M Cosmetics lip cushions. They have that same kind of soft texture, which is so fun to wear. It feels just so hydrating and beautiful. And you can also achieve a variety of looks with this one. You can apply just a sheer layer or you can build up the color as well, which is a really nice option. I think that these are worth it in my opinion for a tinted lip balm. They just have all of the qualities that I look for in that type of formula. Just stunning. The next one is also from Glossier. This is another shade that I love digging out in the fall. It's the shade Leo from the Generation G formula. I swatched it next to Trench so you can see the difference in color. You can see it's a bit more neutral in comparison to Trench, but it's still this beautiful kind of sheer brown. I really like the Generation Gs because they feel very unique. They're like a nice sheer matte texture. And I really like how they immediately give you that soft blotted lip vibe. This formula is also very buildable. You can get it to a more lip focused look if that's what you're wanting. And this is one of the only lipsticks that I feel confident on reapplying without a mirror, just because it gives that very subtle blotted lip look. They're foolproof and entirely gorgeous. Love them to bits. I have a few other shades, but that's the only one that gives me fall vibes. <laughs> I have a sheer lipstick from Wet n Wild to talk about. This is the shade Jam With Me, and the name cannot be more fitting. It looks exactly like Jam. It's so cute. This is another formula that feels very similar to the M Cosmetics Lip Cushions or the Glossier Ultra Lips. It has that same high shine glossy texture with amazing pigmentation. The only thing though is I find that this packaging isn't the best for this type of formula. If you scroll up the lipstick too high, it can push against the walls of the packaging and it can get all messed up in here. So just be wary of that and leave it as low as you can. <laughs> I love them. They glide on with ease. You can build them up if you'd like. These ones never settle into the fine lines at all. I find that some sheer lipsticks tend to fall into the lip lines a bit and can kind of enhance the texture of your lips in an odd way, but it doesn't happen with these whatsoever. I'd say that this lipstick is for chilling and drinking only. I wouldn't really eat with this one because it can kind of get everywhere. This is just a chilling lipstick. This next one I get so excited to pull out year after year. It's the Milk Makeup Wavy Lipstick. 
I just love this one's color and finish. It's this beautiful kind of red based deeper brown and I just love this one's finish because it has a satin texture. So it has a bit of glow running through it which I find to be very flattering for such a deep color because sometimes deep colors can make your lips look smaller but since this one has that glow running through it I feel like it amplifies the light and makes your lips look more plump which is cool for such a deep color. Another quality I love about this one is its thin texture but it has so much payoff. Um, overall, I think it's a very flattering and beautiful formula. And a big bonus is its packaging. I think it's very beautiful. I love how the name of the shade is on the inside of the cap here, and it's a magnetic closure, so it's really fun to play with. Next up, I have a beautiful shade from Pat McGrath. This is my favorite Pat McGrath lipstick. It's the shade Guinevere. It's such a beautiful, deep blue-toned red. It's so stunning. And this formula is a comfort matte, meaning it appears matte, but it's very creamy and comfortable to wear. And these are crazily pigmented, so you only need a tiny bit, which is great for such a pricey lipstick. I swear, when you're applying these, sometimes you have to have a good grasp of the tube or else you'll just slip and end up looking like the Joker. They're just insanely creamy and slippy feeling for this type of looking lipstick. I don't know, it's really, really interesting. But this is another color that I love bringing out year after year. I used quite a bit of it, like I'm reaching kind of a low mark in this tube here, that's sad. I love how these ones wear because once they start fading, they kind of leave a tint behind, which is really cute and flattering. It doesn't wear off in a very unflattering way whatsoever. I just love how rich and velvety this lipstick looks on. I mean, look at that, gorgeous. This is such a fun product. This is one of the most unique products I have in my collection in general. It's the Rouge Beauty 4 Powder Lip Quad, and this is in the shade Signature, so you get four beautiful shades. This is so interesting because they feel so creamy and spongy in the pans, but once you apply them onto your lips, they feel like true powders, and they also stain your lips, which is amazing because this kind of a packaging makes it difficult to reapply when you're out and about. So I love the staining aspect because it just helps with the longevity. In here you get four beautiful, beautiful shades that you can kind of mix in between them to create your own shade or use them on their own, obviously. But this is one of those products I get insanely excited to use. I just love my experience with them every time. It's like I'm using it for the first time each time because the way it applies texture and all, it surprises me every time. I don't get it. It's so fun. Love, love, love this palette. I have a Maybelline Lifter Gloss to speak about. This is the shade 008 Stone. I wanted to include this one because I find that it's a perfect mixture of the Tower 28 cashew and almond. This one's formula is a bit different though. It's closer to a more classic gloss texture, meaning that it has that kind of tackier texture, but it's not sticky or gloopy whatsoever. It just feels like a classic gloss. So I wanted to include this one because I think they did a really great job with this one's formula, and I wanted to include it just in case if you were looking for something from the drugstore. This is a big, big winner. Last but definitely not least are the NARS matte tinted lip balms and I have such good news to share because this morning they posted a photo of these on their Instagram and I commented I think you should make these permanent and they commented back saying that they did winky face and I was so so happy I am ecstatic because this is one of my all-time favorite lip formulas out there it's amazing and it makes me so happy that they're here to stay now I'm just going to pry at them to expand the shade range because I would like to see some reds in this formula and just like all of the tones. I need every single color under the sun in this formula. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, kind of, not really. For this video though, I did exclude just one shade because it was too pinky for the fall vibes, but I included all the other colors. So Brief Encounter, Touch Me, Dangerous Affair, Intimate and Whiplash. If I were to compare these to something else out there, I would compare them to the Glossier Generation G's, just because they have that sheer tinted lip balm feel. But this texture is a lot more smooth and pigmented, and these ones are actually hydrating, which is so cool for something that it looks and feels completely matte. I have two shades here that permanently live in my purse. Those colors are Brief Encounter and Intimate but all the other ones I kind of throw in to spice things up. 
but I just love them because they can look really natural or you can build them up a ton. I think these are just so dreamy and they killed it on this formula and I'm just so happy that they're here to stay again. I had to say it again. I just love them to bits. And there we have it. Those are all of my favorite fall time lipsticks. Let me know which ones you're going to be wearing this season. I would really love to know. But that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of these lipsticks in the description down below as always, and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.